Jonathan, I, I know you've done, uh, you've done joint ventures and all sorts of things and borrowed people's money, but I just want to step back a little bit first because um, the, the way you got kind of here, not just today, but here is in your journey, and obviously you've done Mastermind, you've just almost finished Mastermind, but that's really interesting given your background, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah. just, we'll do the story a piece at a time, but so tell people what you did before you did Mastermind. Okay, I um, went through the whole process. I always wanted to get into property. Property's a really big kind of passion of mine. Um, I started off as an estate agent, did surveying, and then we've moved on to a uh, property sourcer. So I've been a property sourcer for about two, three years at the time. Yeah. yeah. So you're working for a, a quite a big, well-known firm in Nottingham who source properties. Yep. And you were working for them. Yep. Yeah. And because of that, uh, and through that process, obviously, I guess you were an employee for them, but obviously, did you get access to it? Did you, you did a few deals yourself, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Um, I worked out the other day. I did three deals in sort of three years. From, three deals from in three 2014 years. to 2017, I did three and, deals. And so how old were you when you bought your first one? 22, 21, something like that. So 22, 21, doing a deal a year for three years. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that, and you would think, hey, that's pretty well ahead of the game, ahead of all your peers, okay? Mm -hmm. But you had two friends. I did. Oh, you have two friends. <laughs> yeah, still and, got and, them. And then, <laughs> and, then you, and then you didn't have two friends, but, and then you have them again now. We'll talk about that. So, so um, you have two friends, and, and some of the people in the room might know of some of these people because they're people... Uh, so, first of them was a guy called Alex Siri. Who's heard of Alex Siri? Oh, look at them, most people, okay? So... Uh, so Alex was a friend of yours, wasn't he? Yep. And Alex um, came on our three-day Mastermind Accelerator and loved it and decided to come on Mastermind. And as, as you probably know, Alex did really well. He was a police, I worked in police custody and uh, did, he's, a very, he's a very focused guy, very determined guy, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And he decided he didn't want to do it ever, so he decided to come on Mastermind. And uh, Mastermind is a reasonable sum of money, isn't it? Yep. And what did you say to him when you found out he's spending... <laughs> Thousands and thousands of pounds doing a course. It was Kurt where I really had a go at. Oh, it was it? Okay. Alex, yeah. So okay, so, so Curtis but, Jackson was so, the other guy. So Alex, Alex did it first yeah, yeah. And, and made £62,000 yeah, in it. his first year, yeah. which is pretty good, from really scratch, good. Yeah. using none of his own money, doing rent to rent, mm -hmm. and then HMO, no yeah, joint ventures, those kind of things. And then your other friend in the group was Curtis, yep. who saw what Alex did, thought, if he could do it, I can do it. And Curtis uh, was an electrician. Yeah. Yeah, and he'd said, okay, well, you know, I want to kind of do it as well. And, and he was, what, 26 or so? Something like that. 25, and then 26. he spent these tens of thousands of pounds. Yeah. And, and what was it, Kurt, what you said to Curtis? So um, we went out for steak, me and Kurt, and he told me that he'd signed up. And I said he was an idiot, pretty much. I tried to talk him out of it. I did everything I could to talk him out of it. But then he talked me into going to Accelerator. So I was sort of dead <laughs> against it. <laughs> so he said, why don't you just go and try this Accelerator? And if it's, but it's all a load of rubbish, wasn't it? Well, it was a load of rubbish at the time, yeah. So I, I, I kind of <laughs> just completely disagreed with him. Uh, and then I did it. And you guys fell out, June. didn't you? But, well, I didn't really. It was one of them things where we had a little disagreement about him. Agree to it. disagree. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah okay, right. Um, and then I did the accelerator in June, I think, uh, June 2016. So uh, a little yeah. bit before I started Mastermind. And so, so I'm trying to think, you were on Mastermind 23. What was, it, what was the Kurt on? 20 21, was it? yeah, 21. 21. Alex so 19. he had finished before you started. Yeah, yeah. Now he was crazy, wasn't he? He was pretty mad. He still is. But but what did he do in his year? Uh, I think it was like 98 or something, yeah. something like that. 98,000 yeah, pounds. Yeah, yeah. Not worth it, really, was it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, so you kind of fell out with your mates because you had told them they were crazy. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And then they persuaded you to give it a try. Mm -hmm. And because what are you going to know, right? You're already investing, you're working with a property sourcing company, doing one a year for three years. You're doing pretty well, right? I'm doing all right for myself. So, almost 12 months in, yeah. what have you done so far? Uh, so far, I've, I've sort of built up the portfolio to 5.1 million. Uh, and we've got, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> He hasn't finished yet. Don't yet. Worry, he hasn't finished yet. <laughs> I don't own all of them yet. There's, some of them are still being bought, but that's, that's kind of where we're at. Um, the total net between me and the JV is about, well, it's just under £30,000 a month. And 18 is mine. That's £30,000 a month, but you only get half of that. I get just a bit over because there's some other PLOs and rent-to-rents okay. within that kind of thing. So, so. what? 
16, 17? No, it's about 18, I think. Something 18, like that. Yeah. 18,000. If everything was rented yeah. and through. And, yeah. What did you earn, if you don't mind me saying, when you were working with a property sourcing company? 42. 42. Yeah, yeah. So that's a pretty good salary at that age. Okay, yeah. 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 But you kind of smashed that, really. Yeah, done all right. Yeah. Done all right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fairly modest guy. That's what I like about him, really. Okay. Um, so people want to know, how the hell did you do that? So let's um, talk about that. I I'm, I'm a little bit different. I, I, like I said, I really enjoy property. So for me, um, I just get a bit crazy with it. And I started just buying and acquiring everything that I could. Uh, and obviously, well, a lot of it's owed to the JV partners that I've got. So I've got three JV partners, one of which I've done a lot with. Uh, and funnily enough, I met him at Accelerator. Yeah. Uh, so I, don't really, I didn't really believe in that law of attraction kind of thing. I, didn't, I, never, I thought that was crap as well. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> You tell it how it is, yeah, that's yeah. okay, Jonathan. <laughs> um, but I was here two years ago, and I came thinking that it was all fake and all this kind of stuff. Oh, was it actually in this hotel, was yeah, it? Yeah, the accelerator, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so, we do, it's a bit smaller room, it's only 60 people, we do it in this hotel, don't we? Yeah, exactly, this room, I think. Yeah. Um, and I met a guy called Simon Pod, who was top five on 22. Yep. Uh, and he um, told me, he, we were on his table, and he told me he was buying a house in Hucknall, which is where I'm from. This HMO was already built, and it was just such a bad deal. He was such a motivated buyer. It was hilarious. And we had a chat about <laughs> it after. I said, why don't you just you know, not waste your money uh, yeah. and, and, do, and do something with me? And we, I remember we sat in the lobby uh, after Accelerator was, was done. Uh, and he said, you know, yeah, I'll pull out now, and we'll, we'll do some stuff together. And it all kind of started from there. So yeah. that's what happened. Do you, I mean, I know you, you've done quite a lot of training and stuff now. Do you find that, that on someone like Accelerator, because it's, you know, it's... Uh, people pay £3,000 to be there, you get a certain calibre of person on there, don't you? Yeah, um, yeah, it was, I, I really enjoyed Accelerator. Um, yeah, it was a really good, okay. good experience for me. And then what about, so that one, one mastermind, sorry, one fellow masterminder and obviously JV partner for within the community, what about the other two? Are they people you've met from outside? Or? Uh, I've got one other one that's on mastermind at the minute, yeah. and that's not really a, a JV, um, it's not really a normal JV, so that's one where I've done a deal for him, and in return he's let me a, let me the money to do my own deal. So it's still a JV, but not, yes. not the okay. typical. So you, you actually have ownership of the property you've yeah. got, but you found one for him yeah, in first. return for that. Yeah. So in a way, that's kind of like a finder's fee, isn't it? It's kind of, yeah, it's like doing two. In instead, of, instead of paying a finder's fee, it's just letting you some money which you'll yeah. then... For, yeah. for next to nothing rate. So yeah. that's kind of good. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Um, so what have we got to talk through then? Uh, this one is one in Nottingham. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I buy in Nottingham Derby, by the way. Um, funnily enough, the guy that sourced this is in the room. Uh, his name's Tom. There he is. <laughs> so, yes, I bought from a sourcer, uh, which is not normal for me. You can't do that, can I know. you? <laughs> yeah. can't, surely not. Had to do it on this one. It was, it was too good to miss. Uh, this one uh, has all been done through Mastermind. So it was a, a member of the Mastermind team gave me a call like, using the forum. So on the forum, you can see uh, local people that are in that area. So he found my number from that, and he rang me while I was at work and told me he had a house in, in a really good area in Nottingham. Well, it's, it's going to be a good area. It's, it's, it's in Nottingham, in Article 4 area. Uh, and he said the lady just wanted to sell. She was a motivated seller. They ticked a lot of boxes. Um, a lot of people wouldn't have looked at it because of the RIC survey. I think the RIC survey report came in at like £40,000 worth of work to do it up. Right. So I expected it to be an absolute hovel. Uh, yeah. it was that, I, I thought it would be that bad that I said to my girlfriend, come with me and have a look at this hovel. It's going to be horrible. And there's people living in it. And she didn't believe me that people lived in these horrible states. You, you really must improve your idea of dating. <laughs> <laughs> I do treat her. <laughs> um, so we went, went to have a look at this. And it actually wasn't that bad inside, which was a real surprise to me. Um, so I spoke to the lady that was selling it. And she just wanted rid. She wasn't that bothered about it. She didn't, she didn't have any plans for the money or anything like that. So we agreed. Either way, I agreed to buy it. And the initial kind of offer that I made was, was 95 to buy it as a single let and flip it on. Because two doors down, uh, had horrible rotten wooden windows. It was a real doer-upper. And that sold for 120. So this was a deal all day at that. Mm. Um, so this one, I said to her, look, if I can give you a bit more money, would you be prepared to wait? Because it was, when I looked around, there was a load of people living there. There's four people living there. Right. So, Even though it's such a bad state. Yeah, well, it, it wasn't that bad when I looked. Right. It wasn't actually that bad. Right, okay. But there was four people living there, and it had been used as a student house before as well. So I knew that I could apply for the C4 document uh, if I provided enough evidence. So I said to her, if you're willing to wait eight weeks, then uh, I'll take the cost. I'll, I'll apply for it, and uh, I'll give you a bit more money. I think it was like £3,000 extra or something um, that I gave her in the end to wait the eight weeks. So... 
I ended up buying it for 100 because of the mortgage things. I, a limited company couldn't buy uh, for less than 100 because it's 75% loan to value and all that. So it changed a little bit. But I bought it for 100 and I've got a house two streets down that's a six bed and that just got revalued at 170 and it's pretty tired. So it's, it's pretty much gonna, gonna get 180, hopefully. Um, I borrowed the money from someone off Mastermind uh, at, a, at a 10% rate. I'm gonna give them that back in hopefully six months. So it should be near, near enough, no money kind of in probably leave about five thousand pounds in or something but obviously with the cash flow i'll get that back pretty soon so you got a call from a mastermind because you were local to it. they found yeah. a deal they didn't want they passed it on to you you borrowed the money from one of the masterminds mm -hmm. to do a deal and you've just kind of done it just kind of fell in your lap really didn't it yeah it did really yeah 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 that's pretty weird i told billy about it my coach as well and he, he just laughed down the phone at me and said that you know every time i speak you've got another deal <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is one that i got this law of stuff that. doesn't work that does I, it i don't know yeah Not must <laughs> Excellent. So, okay, so what are some of the tips um, that you would give people in terms of, you know, finding people who've got money that will either lend to you or do a joint venture? I love that creative where you found someone a deal and they lent you the money at no kind of cost, pretty much. What are some of the tips you'd give people about that? Um, I think that you should kind of have a track record first. Uh, it's yep. really important. That, I mean, if, even if that's rent to rent, if you can show someone that you're capable, then you're mm. clearly a better investment than someone that isn't. Uh, so that's yeah. something that really worked in my favour. Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. And that's why rent to rent can work so well for people because yeah. they can, for very little money, very quickly get properties up and running. They can take potential investors around, show them, look, I don't own this, but here's what I'm doing. And that gives a lot more certainty, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, that's a great tip. And I want to have to squeeze another tip out of you as well. What could you suggest to people? Uh, really get clarity on your strategy. Uh, I mean, when, before I went to Accelerator, I didn't think PLOs were any good or rent to rents were any good, all this kind of thing. And went after Accelerator, that really, for me, clarified what I wanted to do. Um, so I could start Mastermind, almost hit the ground running. I knew what I was going to do and yep. how I was going to do it. So that's kind of really important, I think. Excellent. And finally, from someone who is very skeptical about why someone should invest in themselves, mm -hmm. um, what... And, and, you know, when you make an investment, you've got to make sure, am I going to get value for this? And I think sometimes people worry, am I spending the money? Am I going to get a return? What would you say to someone who is thinking about, because there might be people in the room who are thinking about doing Mastermind and Mastermind Local. What would you say to them? Uh, it's one deal, right? You get your money back. Think about it like that. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, great. Um, let's thank Jonathan. Wonderful job. Thank you very much, Jonathan. <laughs> Thanks Cheers. a lot. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you very much. It's Simon here. I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this inspirational case study. I'm sure you got a huge amount out of it. And if you want to learn more about how you can use this incredible strategy, I've prepared two-hour on-demand online training for you, completely free of charge, to teach you what you need to know to be a successful HMO investor and landlord. All you have to do is look in the description below this video, click on the link and register to get access to that free training. I suggest you do it right now.